Hello and welcome to this little bonus video from Arctic Knitting. My name is Emilia and I am the host of the Arctic Knitting podcast here on YouTube. I'm also the dyer of Arctic Yarns and the designer of Arctic Knitting Designs. I try to do weekly podcasts on YouTube but it doesn't always work out that way. But I thought that throughout July I'm going to try to show you, give you a little daily video instead. It's not going to be podcast episodes. I know that Lily of the Nordic Stitches Designs and Nordic Stitches podcast here on YouTube, who is a very dear friend of mine, she is doing daily vlogs. It's, she's calling it uh, Vlogmas in July, I believe. And I was thinking about joining that, but I know from earlier experience that vlogging isn't really my thing. So I thought that I was just going to give you little daily videos, which is not vlogging, but just little snippets of my day-to-day -day life. Uh, most of them is going to be themed. Today, for instance, today is the 1st of July. It is currently half past 11 at night and I'm up on a little bit of a mountain top. I was planning, let's see, I can show you. I was planning to go up on that top right here, but then I forgot my water bottle, so that didn't really happen. And I had to stop at a top a little bit earlier. If you see me squint, to the, that's just because of the light. One moment and I'm going to put on my sunglasses. So, sunglasses on, you can't see my eyes, but that's just the way it is. I'm just sitting here enjoying the view. I have my knitting with me. I haven't taken it out of the backpack, but I have some yarn. And I am currently knitting on a dishcloth. It is just some really nice backpack knitting to have on these hikes, or I don't really do these hikes, but when I go out and about, it's easy to bring along. Uh, today I was going to take you along with me up to that top that I showed you and show you the midnight sun. Unfortunately, I forgot my tripod. I also forgot my water bottle, so there's no way that I'm going to go up there. Because right over here, just uh, 50 meters away, there is a little river. Or it's not a river, it's a little water stream. So I have drinking water here, so I'm just going to stay here for a while. I'm going to knit, I'm going to see the midnight sun. I'm not sure if I'm able to set up the camera somewhere that will show you that, but I will try. I live, let's see if I can show you that. Not in these houses, here are some houses, not in these, but a little like around this corner, which you can't see. That's where I live and I just really enjoy coming up here like once or twice every summer. So this is the sun, let me see if I can see what time it is. It is 11.33, so almost midnight and it's really, really pretty. And yeah, I'm going to do these little daily videos of day-to-day -day life. It's going to be vlogs, there's going to be some theme videos. I'm thinking I'm going to get around to actually showing you the yarn store that I'm working. I might get around to show you my dye studio, which is currently clean. And if there are other things, maybe I'll do some favorite videos, like my five favorite commercial Norwegian yarns, favorite pattern books, stuff like that. If you have any wishes or should suggestions for that, please let me know. I will be happy to talk about whatever you want me to talk about and show you what life in the Arctic is really like. And today is a really nice summer day. It's the first summer day. It's, as I said, in July, it's been a really bad summer so far. But we have about 18 degrees Celsius. You can see I'm wearing my alpaca kofta, so it's not really that warm. And uh, yeah, but there's probably going to be some rainy days. I don't think there's going to be any snow in July, but I'm not making any promises. Uh, you can't see it from here, but there are still lots of snow in the mountains. And maybe that will go away, or maybe it will snow in the mountains in July, who knows? It's a little bit. But I'm hoping for a good summer, and I will just bring you along and show you my summer and stuff that I really enjoy and most of that is going to be anything related. I'm not going to show you like making dinner and stuff because I never get around to filming that and that's why I really really suck at doing vlogmas. But I think I'm just going to sit here and eat for a while and then I'm going to put up my camera and see if I can show you like a really sped up video of the midnight sun like five minutes before minute until five minutes after and speed it up so it lasts like 30 seconds or something and show you what the midnight sun actually looks like and for those of you wondering this is a question that we get it's actually real and i'm so sorry if i offend anyone that's saying it but yes it is the same sun it's not a different sun it's just the same sun at different hours uh, there have actually been tourists in norway <laughs> And I can tell you lots of those stories because I live in an area with lots of tourists. There 
I have actually been coming tourists in Norway who have demanded their money back because the midnight sun is just their regular sun that they can see wherever they are from. So, spoiler, it's the same sun. And yeah, I will try to let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about today. It's just going to be nature or anything and not really a theme. But I hope you enjoy it anyway and I hope that you are having a really nice summer wherever you are. I didn't actually film me going up here, but I'm going to film me going going down so you can see because let me see if I can turn the camera. No, I can't, but yeah, you know what I mean. I live in this area just around here and I can walk directly from my front door and up there. So it took me 15, it's a 15 minute walk, but it's, <laughs> yeah, it's um, steep. So. I'm not going here daily but yeah I really like this this is like this is the most amazing part of living in the Arctic the midnight sun this and of course the northern lights but the northern lights is in the winter and I'm not really a winter person if you, you will know that if you haven't following this podcast I really don't like snow and you kind of have to go out of the city to see the midnight sun you have to go out of the city to see the northern lights so i don't really do that much because the lights of the city kind of it's not really a city you can see this is where i i'm not sure if you can see it but this is my town and i live right outside of it but yeah i i'm not really sure what to say i just really wanted to show you this view and this is a little grillhütte it's a place where you can go to a barbecues the kindergarten uses it this a lot to go up here with the kids and they make bonfires and barbecue or sausages and stuff and play outside. I don't think they go here with the smallest kids because, well, you don't want the kids to fall down there. But yeah, you can see the shadow of bone. And I'm just going to show you the sun one more time. Mm -hmm. 